Okay, so now we want to make copies of this uh, component. Um, so if I go back to our top view, okay, and I'm going to kind of give myself a little bit more space by panning out, pulling out. All right, I want to make a copy of this component. So if I select the component, just click on the component, everything lights up. I can press Control C for copy and Control V for paste. And then your little move tool pops up and you can move your copy to wherever you want to. Okay. And control V, I'm going to make another copy. And again, I can inference it off of something if I want to, whatever I want to do, just pop it there. So now I've made two copies of this original sketch. Now, if you notice, these two copies don't have the dimensions on it. And that's because these dimensions are not bound within the original component that I made. So when I selected the component, I did not select the dimensions. Okay. Now, if I do want dimensions on this component, okay, I just double click on here and then I can select my dimension tool and I can add a dimension and I just added a dimension of 10 inches. And when I click away, now you'll notice that these two also had these this dimension added to it, okay? Didn't have these two because those two were not originally part of the component. But when I went and edited this component, I edited inside that component and I put this dimension and it and it then copies itself to these other two. So it's important to understand that a copy in SketchUp, okay, will be an exact copy. So whatever you do to the original or to any copy will propagate on every single copy, okay? And that's pretty important because if I want to edit one, okay, I, I have to make it as a unique component, okay? And the way to do that is in the drop down menu, uh, we need to make a unique set for it. So we have the, the ground floor, the first floor, this, the second floor, and the top floor is four by four. So it's easier for me to use, the, use a copy of this and edit that copy than draw it all again. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna make a copy of one of these. It doesn't matter which one I choose, okay? Say I choose this one. Control C, Control V, I made a copy, okay? So all of these are still linked. It doesn't matter where, when I make a copy of, which other, whichever one, it doesn't matter, okay? But I do need to make this one unique so I can change the dimension and make it into that top floor. So if I right click, there's an option here to make unique. So now I've made that copy into a unique copy. It actually gives it a new name. So let's look at what the names are, okay? If I come down here and I, I look at the components, okay? The first one I, I made is floor and the copy that I'm gonna edit is floor number one. So there's only two different components here. You may see the drawing still in there if, if you need to, which you erased, you know, the guy, um, you, can, you can purge him out of there if you want to, okay? But uh, at this time, we only have two separate components and copies of them uh, are here. But it doesn't show the copies, it just shows that it's a unique component. Okay, so this component is unique. It's floor number one. Okay, and that's the one I'm gonna edit. So I double click on that. So now I'm editing inside the component. Okay, and what I want to do here is change the dimension from 10 to four inches. So let's look at it from the side view. Let's change our view. Now look at it on an angle view. And you'll notice that it, it has some thickness, right? So if I wanted to, to select my move tool here and select a line, and move that line, I'm only, I'm only moving the line. And let me show you what I mean by that. 
So I select this line, click on it, I move it in. I'm only moving this one line. So everything that is, is connected to this line, let me zoom in a little closer so you can see a little better. Okay. So if I'm moving this line, see what happens to, to that line? Okay. Wherever I let go, this angle happens. Okay. Because it only moved this one line. Okay. I need to move the face. Okay. So if either I select the face, I can move the entire face. I move it along the green axis. Okay. And then I can move it closer to what I want. Okay. Or I can use the push pull tool is a little bit easier if I need to move the face. So I've just moved the face by selecting the face to a different dimension. Okay. Or I can use the push pull tool again, which only works on a face and I can select that face and push it into the dimension I want. So pretty simple to do the calculation here. So I only need to move it three inches. Okay. And then this side, I need to move it in three inches. Okay. You don't have to type in inches anymore because SketchUp already recognizes what dimensions you're working with. Okay. Now I need to get onto the other side. Okay. And so I can either change my view or I can use this rotate tool here. Okay. Which is an orbit tool and swing myself around. So I have these two dimensions I'm looking at. Okay. And then again, I can use my push pull tool, grab this, move it in three and grab this and move it in three. I, if I click outside the box, I'm closing the editor. And now you can see that the dimension has changed to four. Okay, let's use the zoom extends here and change my view to the top view. Okay. So my dimension has changed to four. Now, the reason this dimension uh, changed is because that dimension was inside of the component. It's dynamically linked to the component. Okay. If I were to not have that dimension, so if I were to edit this one, this dimension would change to four, but this one would not. Okay. Because this dimension is not part of the component. All right. So now I have everything dimensioned the way I want, and we're going to move on to creating your legs and sticks in the next video.